In the early 1920s, the Weimar Republic faced political and economic problems. Wartime devastation had resulted in an economic crisis, and German war debts led to hyperinflation and the devaluation of currency. Adolf Hitler used this as an opportunity to gain power by promising to fix the economy and put people back to work, return Germany to the status of a great European and even world power, and unite all Germans among racial and ethnic lines. Through brutality, Hitler be eventually became Chancellor from von Hindenburg, and upon Hindenburg's death, he became Führer. This set the stage for mass genocide in East Europe. So General Plan Ost, or the Master Plan of the East, was actually created by Hitler to essentially resettle Eastern Europe with um, what they thought was the superior race, um, the Aryans. To exterminate the unwanted people in Eastern Europe, General Plan Ost called mass starvation, or moving so-called inferior groups farther east. Nazi policy in relation to General Plan Ost stated, Many tens of millions of people in this territory will become superfluous and will have to die or migrate to Siberia. The plan called for the extermination or deportation of 31 million people in Eastern Europe, where about 45 million people were residing at the time. Professor Meyer had Link's plan called for the immediate removal of 80 to 85 percent of Poland's population and 50 percent of the Czech Republic's population, as well as the later deportation of 85 percent of Lithuania's population, 75 percent of Belarus's population, 65% of Western Ukraine's population and 50% of Latvia's and Estonia's population. How people were to be removed, according to General Panost, was based on a racial hierarchy crafted by the Nazis. Those of Slavic origin were undesirable and were to be moved into Siberia. The Jews were to be totally removed, meaning killed. The rest of the people in Eastern Europe were to be enslaved, Germanized, or killed. Hitler actually claimed that he wanted to invade Eastern Europe in order to acquire what he called Lebensraum, or living space. Part of Hitler's inspiration for this expansion actually came from American Manifest Destiny, where East Europe would be similar to westward expansion in America. This draws some ties to how Slavic people were seen similarly to Native Americans, and that they could be kind of exterminated for land and seen as subhuman. General Plan Ost never fully came to fruition, and all original documents of General Plan Ost were destroyed after it was clear Germany would lose in World War II in order to maintain its secrecy. It is hard to imagine that there could have been an even greater genocide than what occurred in the Holocaust. It is not clear how many casualties were caused directly from General Plan Ost, but the Russian Academy of Sciences in 1995 reported civilian victims in the USSR at German hands totaled 13.7 million dead, 20% of the 68 million persons in the occupied USSR. This included 7.4 million victims of Nazi genocide and reprisals, 2.2 million deaths of people deported to Germany for forced labor, and 4.1 million famine and disease deaths in the occupied territory.